imaging in terms of the center is probably arguably crisper, depending on the, what you're playing. And uh, but the expense of that is yeah, that it shrinks. The, it it goes to mono. I'm exaggerating slightly, but it tends to go to mono. And yes, you hear some tinkly stuff out here. That's not that, uh, that's not common. But because of this kind of shape, that's what's going to happen, and that it does happen. I put the orchestral stuff on here. Some of the stuff I put on here purposely was really to do with the, the uh, width of the uh, sound stage. And, uh, but you can see that if you go off axis, and I've set these up so that they're as fair as I can possibly make them. I towed them in, so you're on axis in both cases. Uh, but if you were to walk around the room, you're going to have this hole. And if you look at the, if you've been to our uh, reverb room, uh, that sums up the total energy output of a system. And you can see that that's going to have a problem. You know, so you're going to get a, uh, and uh, you compare that against the XR50. Now that's zero degrees, 30 are virtually identical. 60 degrees is the next line down, not that much different. And 90 degrees, it's down, but it's virtually flat, way out to, uh, to extreme frequency. So you can actually move around a lot with the 50. And you're going to have a very wide stage. You're going to have a very neutral sound almost no matter where you are in the room. Obviously, blow, uh, when you get into room modes, you're going to have those, always going to have those, no matter what system. But as far as your articulation goes, you know, these are kept away from the woofers. Uh, the, I don't know if Ron mentioned, but the B&W is a two-way system. And that one of the problems with two-way system is you can't necessarily get the articulation in a narrow uh, driver to get the dispersion you need. Because the wider the driver, the narrower the dispersion pattern right. as you go from frequency. And that's purposely why these two-inch drivers are used to keep that so that it's very broad. Uh, Perhaps you remember years ago there was in Europe there did a uh, Eureka project, and what they did was to go through and find out, you know, where are most of the sales going to be. So a number of companies, a number of large companies, got together and sponsored a project, and it was called the Eureka project. And one of the items that they came out with is that wide dispersion is the one that's normally going to win. Um, now, you know, I've kind of kept, I leaped uh, through these. Uh, and if you look at just the number of uh, ones that picked A and picked B, as a group, you're 50-50 as a group. I think I heard you say something that you picked immediately within 30 seconds. I'm curious. I'm going to put my head in the jaws. Which it, one was on, it was on.